Sunday, May 24th, 2020, 5.45 a.m., Nags Head, North Carolina. Greg Vickers snapped these photos and sent them to me along with this note, moving east to west, on shore, just before sunrise. This is truly a rare cloud formation on display that brings up the important question, what is this cloud? Hi, I'm meteorologist Justin Burke. That was stunning, wasn't it? The lighting that early in the day added dimension and texture to help that cloud look even more impressive. But what was it? Better yet, what caused it? That cloud is really rare, but common in one place on Earth on the other side of the globe. Before we get to that, let's take a look at the weather setup that morning. The satellite loop at sunrise shows clouds moving from the northeast across eastern North Carolina. Now, these images were really dark at sunrise, but I'll get back to this and highlight it for you in just a moment. Here's the mesoanalysis. This is a raw view of hourly surface weather observations plotted at 6 a.m. This was just after the photos were taken. So where is Nags Head, North Carolina? Well, right here. As for the winds, I've highlighted the regional flow from the northeast. This included land-based weather stations and ocean buoys. Here is the surface analysis, just like I use in my daily weather forecasts. High pressure in eastern Canada, combined with a stalled low pressure well east of the U.S. coast, help to funnel the wind and clouds back onto the land. Now, there are two forces at work here. First, the front is about to move onshore and pushes the air ahead of it like a wave or a plow. Secondly, the local airflow already had developed a band of clouds just off of the beaches. Let's go back to those visible satellite images, and this time we'll take a closer look just after sunrise and plot them at key time frames with more daylight to spot what passed by. At 6 a.m., we can barely see the thin line of clouds moving onshore. Add 10 minutes, and it gets a little bit more evident. Another 20, and it's a lot easier to see. Now here at 7 a.m., that line of clouds was well inland, while the high-level overcast was now taking over the beach. Now let's explore that local airflow. The beach is known for being a windy place. But it breaks down like this. A sea breeze during the day, and a land breeze at night. During a typical day, the land heats up a lot more than the air over the water. This causes the warmer air to rise while the cooler air from the ocean moves on shore. That's what we call nature's air conditioning in the summertime. This can also add just enough moisture to help produce clouds inland where the air is rising. During a typical night, the flow is reversed and not as strong. With the land cooling faster, the air over the water is now warmer and there is where it rises. This time, the air from the land moves offshore. In some cases, this can produce clouds just over the water. And since the clouds we're talking about were just before sunrise, this was the setup for Greg's photos. And that brings us to the main question, what is this cloud? It is a rare form of the Arcus cloud or roll cloud. In this case, called the morning glory. While it is considered rare, the morning glory is actually common in northern Australia off of the Gulf of Carpentaria. This can usually be seen near Burktown, no relation, between September and November every year. When the conditions are right, the interaction with the land can make waves in the air. The rising and sinking can develop these low-level clouds that can roll and look like ripples in a pond. It was also recorded in the United States over Lake Michigan in 2016. Look closely at that long, slow roll. The near end is rising while the farther end is sinking. I've sped up this part to help show that. I also reported something similar to this over the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland. It was then determined to be a convergence cloud over 100 miles long. This was on July 17th in 2015. I've added a link to that report in the description on this page right below the video. One more look at the satellite loop. Once the sun rose, we can see a couple of bands or ripples of these clouds already moving inland. But it was at sunrise when Greg Vickers happened to be in the right place at the right time to capture this amazing view. Thanks to him for sharing. And I hope that cleared this up. What is this cloud? The Morning Glory a rare member of the Arcus or Roll Cloud family. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Justin Burke. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to make sure that you get updates. Tell all your friends and keep looking up.